2014 Fusion Energy is Ford's plug-in hybrid. That means it gets electricity straight from the grid to drive the wheels. Let's take a look at this car that's more hybrid than a hybrid. The Ford Fusion is a good-looking and versatile sedan. Ford offers it with four different engines, a hybrid version, and this, the energy, the plug-in hybrid version. Now with a hybrid, you're recapturing kinetic energy and storing it in the battery to drive the wheels. You're not burning up your brake pads, you're actually creating electricity. Now with a plug-in hybrid, you get all that, but you also can plug this car into the grid overnight to charge up the battery. Here we have this port here. This is a standard J1772 port. You can charge up the 7.6 kilowatt hour battery in this car. It takes about two and a half hours on a 240 volt outlet, seven hours on a standard wall outlet. Now full charge will get you 21 miles of pure electric range. That's the EPA number. It'll vary depending on your driving style. That doesn't sound like much, but it beats the range of the Toyota Prius plug-in and the Honda Accord plug-in, both come at about 13 miles. Now driving the front wheels is a 118 horsepower electric motor. We also have a gasoline engine, a two liter four cylinder gasoline engine that produces 141 horsepower, 129 pound feet of torque. Those two power sources when mixed together in this car's transmission get a total system output of 188 horsepower. Now that gets you, according to the EPA, 100 miles per gallon equivalent, that's just using the electric power source, or when driving this car as a hybrid using the gasoline and electric motor, that gets you about 42 miles per gallon average. Now in this 2014 Fusion Energy, the My Ford Touch interface comes standard. We've seen this a lot in different Ford models, different Fusion models as well. So this is this kind of four quadrant paradigm here. We have phone in the upper left. We have navigation in the upper right. Now that's an optional device. We've got an SD card plugged into an SD port in the console that powers that. We have climate control on the lower right and entertainment on the lower left. Now if we go to navigation, we get our map views. I've noticed this, this navigation system kind of fills up the map a little bit slowly. It also has traffic and it'll automatically avoid traffic problems. So uh, that's a pretty modern, good system. Under entertainment, we've got, of course, audio sources here. We've got a lot of audio sources. They're stacked up neatly along the left side here. Pretty easy to get to. We got AM, FM, HD radio, satellite radio. Still have a CD player in this car. That hasn't gone away yet. We've got a USB port in the console here. I've got my iPhone plugged into it right now. And then go down, we also have Bluetooth audio streaming. And you can also use that SD card slot currently used for navigation for music as well. Now the phone has the usual functions here. I've got a dial pad. I can go straight to my contact lists. And what's really good in the Ford cars in general and in this Fusion Energy as well is the voice command system. With voice command, I can place any calls via my contact list. I can just say call dad or something like that. And it'll pull up the number from my contact list. I can ask for music directly from anything plugged into the USB port. So I can say play Led Zeppelin, for example, or in navigation, I can enter an address as a single string. That's all pretty good stuff. Everything here is mirrored on the right hand screen in the instrument cluster. And I control that by this D pad here. I can see my climate controls here and I can go up and see what's playing on music or I can go down to navigation and get my turn by turn directions if I have a route programmed into the system. Then I have a neat little thing because this is the Fusion Energy, I've got this little energy button here. So this gets me some energy screens here. This uh, setting screen actually lets me program in a charge time. So if I had this plugged in overnight, I could say charge at 2 a.m. in the morning or something when electricity is cheaper. Even cooler than this though is on the left side of the instrument cluster, I've got this pretty detailed screen which shows me a lot of information about how power is being used in the car. I could also shift this around and see different things like a standard trip display, different fuel economy display. A lot of things going on here to monitor how the car is driving. It's driving just like an electric car. Pretty good pickup, accelerator feels good, quiet moving forward. And when I hit the brakes, I can see this little display showing me that I'm recharging the battery. And that's always a little bit gratifying because I'm gaining miles. With that big battery pack, uh, that weighs quite a bit. That actually adds 500 pounds compared to a standard gas engine Ford Fusion. And I feel that in the suspension. When I'm going around corners, there's just a little more load on the suspension. Now, when I run out of my electric range, which I'm almost there, down to one mile, and the engine kicks in, what I'm really impressed about is that the power handoff, adding the, the gasoline engine to the power mix, is totally smooth. I mean, I haven't noticed really any change in the power response from the accelerator. It's the power curve doesn't seem to change 
much at all. But the ride still remains comfortable. This car does a good job of remaining, feeling like a Ford Fusion. So let's price out our 2014 Fusion Energy. In SE trim, the base price is $35,525 with destination. To do it up CNET style, add navigation for $795, that's that SD card that plugs into the car. Driver assistance package goes for $1,140, that includes blind spot and lane departure. Adaptive cruise is another $995. The rear view camera is a cheap $295. That probably should have been standard, but it'll be mandatory in 2016. That puts us at a total of $38,750. Now, plug-in hybrids are kind of odd vehicles. They depend a lot on your work and lifestyle. If you have a commute of 20 miles or less, you won't spend a cent in gas all week. And then on the weekends for the longer trips, you won't have range anxiety either with that gasoline engine. 